What's up guys, welcome to another video on my channel. Now today I have a haul of 6 books, 3 Marvel and 3 DC. Um, one hardback and the, well, it is a hardback, it's just a really thin hardback. And the rest are trades. Uh, so yeah, let's get into what books I got. First book I got is Harley Quinn and her gang of Harleys. Now, looking at the back of like the blurb of this book, it's basically that someone's kidnapped Harley Quinn and her gang of Harleys have to figure out who it is and to get her back. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be interesting to read, see where it goes as like Harley Quinn, I've gotten into her as of late because I've read Harley Quinn Night and Day, Harley Quinn Vengeance Unlimited, and currently reading one of the other books, so I went from having no Harley Quinn books to now having seven Harley Quinn books. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, Harley Quinn and her gang of Harleys. Next up, we have the book that I'm currently reading, and that is Harley Quinn of the New 52, Volume 1, Hot in the City, by Amanda Connor. Um, now... The issue zero of this I really quite enjoyed. Uh, it was basically like Harley talking to the artist and like saying what she wanted. I mean, I don't know if that's actually part of her character now that she can break the fourth wall. But I mean, it just went from artist to artist to artist. Like, I'll show you what I mean. So. As you can see there, went from like a football game, then suddenly the original sketches, to suddenly that, and it just keeps changing from different art style, and that was just for one issue, but I really quite enjoyed that, I don't know, there was something fun about it, and I'm now on I think issue 2 or 3. And I'm enjoying it so far. It's just a bit of fun. It's like a series that you can pick up, jump onto it, have a bit of fun. Not really take too seriously. Uh, no, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean sometimes with other books, you really have to take it seriously or think about other things. Now, yes, I do love books like that. But sometimes if you just like, for me at the moment, because I've been studying, I just want to finish the day, pick up a book, and just read and enjoy and not really have to think about it too much. Next, we have Harley Quinn of the New 52, Volume 2, Power Outage. Now this has the Joker on the front, so hopefully we get a bit of antics between them two. Because uh, the two books that I had, which was Harley Quinn Night and Day and Harley Quinn Vengeance Unlimited, that is Volume 4. 2 and 4 of a series, I have to pick up volume 1 and 3, uh, but that there really wasn't much Joker involvement, and I sort of, I really enjoyed that because it shows that like, she can be her character without the Joker, but here I'd like to see how they incorporate the Joker, would it be in a positive way or I'm a love sick puppy sort of way, I mean we'll see how it goes, hopefully they don't, but I mean I'll be interested to see how this volume goes. Next up, we get into my three Marvel trades. First one is X-Men by Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale, and this is Wolverine Gambit. Uh, this this looks interesting. I mean, it has one of my favorite X-Men, which is probably most people's favorite X-Men, and that is Wolverine himself. This is going along with like most of my, because I have uh, Wolverine X, uh, Wolverine Old Man Logan, Wolverine Old Man Logan 1 and 2, all new Wolverine 1 and 2, so I'm slowly growing a Wolverine collection, and I mean I haven't read anything X-Men in a while, like the last X-Men book that I read was Uncanny X-Men, uh, so yeah I mean I'll see how this is, it's got Gambit, uh, don't really know much about Gambit, apparently he was getting a movie that kept getting cancelled or rewritten I have no clue what the fuck happened there uh, but yeah this yeah here's an example of the art like there's Rogue I believe 
Don't quote me on that. I'm having a dirt moment at the moment. But yeah, it just looks like a bit of fun. Uh, actually, no. Actually, it looks... Well, no, uh, what I mean, like, it looks a bit of fun, like, to read. But it looks like a darker sort of story. Uh, just even from the art from the front cover. So I'll be interested to see how this book is. I mean, if I don't enjoy it, I've got an X-Men book. I mean... Because I want to branch out into more characters, as you've been seeing. Like, I have some Harley Quinns. Uh, and then the next two books. I am branching out into new characters, even though I still have to finish that Batman one. I'll get around to it. <laughs> next up, we have Power Man and Iron Fist. The boys are back in town. Um, now, this... There's only going to be like three volumes in the series. One and two have already been collected, but number three is still to be collected. But I mean, that means it's a short series if I want to finish it. And because I enjoyed the, the Luke Cage Netflix series, it's a bit of fun. The Iron Fist Netflix series seemed to focus too much on the business side of Rand. I didn't really enjoy this. So hopefully this will... Like, I'll enjoy this a bit more. Like, so there's a smart comic filled with heart. One of the best duos in comics right now. And this collects one to five of the 2016 run. So, yeah, I'll be interested to see. The art is, like, all cartoony and seems to be a bit of fun. Like, it just looks like it'll be a fun read. Uh, so, yeah, that is Power Man and Iron Fist. And finally... There's no words to describe why I picked this one up. Um, and that will be the unbeatable Squirrel Girl beats up the Marvel Universe. Um, yeah, it's this. Uh, <laughs> so now that Deadpool killed the Marvel Universe, I still have to pick that up. But apparently, apparently Squirrel Girl got him as well. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's like I've heard a squirrel girl. I've heard she's getting her own movie or TV show Not really sure which one it is uh, But yeah, squirrel girl. It seems like I've heard that she's like a fun character speaks speaks to squirrels Really like doesn't she's a bit of a fun character, but one thing that I do have to say Why can there be a character like squirrel girl that everyone loves? But a character like Aquaman becomes the brunt of a joke because all he does is speak to fish. Squirrel Girl speaks to fucking squirrels. Where? Like, tell me down below if you agree with this, but where is the logic in that? Like, is it just because it's a girl? It's a girl that likes squirrels? Ah, well. But if it's a guy that talks to fish, no, it's not okay. I mean... What? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop, but yeah, that's like, the Beatable Squirrel Girl beats up the Marvel Universe. Power Man and Iron Fist. X-Men, Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale, Wolverine Gambit. Harley Quinn Volume 2, Power Outage. Harley Quinn Volume 1, Hot in the City. And Harley Quinn and her gang of Harleys. So hopefully you enjoyed this haul, tell me if you have any of these books, or which one is your favourite, or did any of these interest you and you might pick them up. Uh, but yeah, and tell me about the Aquaman Squirrel Girl thing, tell me what you think of that whole situation. Because I just thought about it there and I'm like, why does he get hate but Squirrel Girl doesn't? So yeah, tell me down below what you think, and thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.